been a pleasing performance yet in the three games so far this season? Yeah, uh, it would be fair. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be satisfied myself with um uh you know, I suppose when you know you you know, even chipping in with like goals and strikes and I haven't had many strikes at goal even, you know, so um I would I'm I'm building like and I would I'd hope to be um you know, uh, sometimes it's a, it's a slow burner, like it just takes a couple of games but uh yeah, but to answer the question, no, I wouldn't be totally satisfied but um look I know there's more in me and I've I've uh, I've confidence in my ability like so I'd um I back myself and um hope it, it comes right like you know what I mean. Yeah, I I just said as captain like um have you spoken you know have been spoken about the breast number what's missing at the moment from your performances there? Uh of me individually or the team? Try sorry. No, the team. Um the team, like what what what's been missing from the team's performance so far? Well look, I think we've in the games we've played, we've had most of the possession. To be fair, um, we've moved the ball quite well. Um, um, you know we've it, and the spells they've come into the game. I think we've handled them well as well. You know when they when they have had possession, we've defended well. But um, at the end of the day, like we we gave away two soft goals in the last two games, and we haven't put the ball in the net. So for all the possession we have, um, we really need to be like I think if we score in the Cabin Tealy game. I think it's even looking back and watching the video back, it could be game over because they need to they need to come out and then play, and which like you know I don't know if you could see it with the stream or whatever, but um you know they were really really defensive and stuff and trying to catch on the counter and it was a bit similar to Atlone and we had a bit we had a lot of possession um but uh, I think we just need to it just basically comes down to goals win games like you know and if you score a goal it changes how the opposition play and they can't sit in and try and catch on the counter they have to they have to come out and try and do something you know um so like i think uh, going forward like if if we can score early in, in either half like i think it, it changes the game for us and and really puts us on the front foot like cuz as i said we've we've had possession we've we've played well we've played relatively well you know it's um it's not a case that we're back to the drawing board massively like we we gifted we gifted two soft goals in the in, in them two games and we've had a lot of possession without um really penetrating i suppose you know yeah just on the prime night um Gar, you know Sheldon obviously the pre-season pre favorites uh, to to win the title and um, you, you know what kind of challenge you'll get from, from Shelburne and um, they're obviously one of the best teams in the league at least on paper and um, you know what, what type of game do you expect against them and of course if you win there and um, you know the, the incentive is there you, you need problem on the table yeah um, look I think it's it, like as you see, it's extremely tight. There's there's only one goal in most of the games, like you know. So, um, but we know what type of game it's going to be, you know, with with Colin and and the the backroom staff with Cots and Nuts and the rest. Them, um, we're we're doing our, our work this week, and um, but, you know, no different to any other week. But there's a bit of a there's a bit of intensity about us this week. I think um, just a bit more because we kind of realise how how much we you know we just we just really want to get that win for like for ourselves and and for everyone like watching all the fans and um, you know it's it must be. I know we've been through the mill, like you know, so it'd be nice to to start getting wins and get them under our belt and um pick up a bit of momentum and have a generate that positivity around the club again and um get get confidence amongst the players amongst the group and um we can kick on then you know um so there's no better time to do it on Friday night than than against a team who's expected to to um be top of the table come the end of the season so um we're chomping at the bit and we can't wait to get going and. Uh, like I said, the preparation will be no different. We've been doing everything. We've there's a bit more intensity about us. I think this week because we realised the you know when you go two three games or winning and scoring and stuff. So I think them um, the probably a, a bit more desire about us to score a goal maybe and um we know we need to start scoring goals and um I think the rest will come once we once we start doing that. Yeah, just a final one for me then, Gar. Um, we know that the first division. Is on forgiving division. Shelburne uh, would verify that themselves. They've been down there for a good while. Is there any genuine fair factor with Cork City that you know you could be down there for a while? Or is there genuine belief that you can get up, get up to the top division again this year? Yeah, you know, there definitely is genuine belief. Um, but like I said, um, it's grand to have belief, but we really need to, to put in the performances now. You know, um, you know, it's it'd be be well and good for me to sit here and talk to talk like. But um, we we do need to get out there on Friday night and put put in a performance and win a game. Like um, like I said, I I think 
uh, you know, bar the, the Cove game, it was probably just a scrappy first game of the season. But the other two games, in terms of possession and passing and stuff, I think we've been the better team. We just haven't them. Um, we like I said, we've probably gifted. We didn't make them work for goals, you know. Whereas look how hard we're grafting to try and score a goal, like you know. So um, uh, I think I think to be honest with you, once we just get that, just get that first goal out of the way, like you know, I've a full uh, full belief in you know Jack Benyon. Keen, you know, they're um, they're very good players, and you see Jack on Friday, he was excellent, um, and it'd be great for him to to cap it, just get a put in that kind of performance and just get a goal on the end of it. You know, that would that would um, really make all the difference for us, I think. Um, just wondered, like, do you feel any kind of um, added onus uh, or pressure on yourself as the kind of, as the one of the senior men and the skipper of the side, um, like to maybe to lift the team? Um, I suppose I do, yeah, um, because. To be fair to the lads on the team at the moment, um, they are like the you know the age group is is quite young you know so it naturally does fall to senior lads and um like I'm on the pitch so you know so it's um it's important that I do uh, give it give it everything and try and um I suppose I wouldn't be the most like I'd be vocal now I kind of grew into that role but naturally I just try and do my best and uh you know just give it a hundred percent and then the young lads see I look. He's given out hundred percent. They follow suit and kind of lead by performance. Like I'd like to to do that. Um, haven't done it so far really. Like in, in my own opinion, or I'd have higher standards for myself. So I would hope. Um, I hope I kick on now. And you know, I, I think it's still early days. I think uh, there's there's a lot of football left to be played. Like so, I wouldn't be pushing the panic button just yet. Like with everything, you know. And just um, we'd say it's probably a decade or so since you were playing first division. But like, has it changed much since then? Like standard wise. No, it hasn't. It's very, it's extremely cagey, you know. And it's um, like I said, we've had a lot of possession, and um, but in the first division, everybody tends to get get every player behind the ball, you know. It's just and they kind of say, all right, go and try break a stone, and and that's the way it is. Um, so look, that's a that's a bit of a, a task for us at the moment. We need to try and do more to score a goal, but um, the standard look, it's always tight. It's always the games don't they don't tend to be the most um, you know, there's there's kind of more of a battle to be won. And then the football kind of takes place, you know what I mean? But there's 100% that battle is there and um, everybody's scrapping and, uh, you know, it might look too pretty at times, but um, that's just the way it is and that's just the way the division is. Um, but uh, I don't think it's changed much since the last time I was in it, no. Um, it's still an extremely tough division because it's just um, everybody's up for the fight. You know, it's kind of, everybody knows there's a fight before football, I think, almost. So um, they kind of go up with that mindset, a lot of teams. and. They're, they're they're ready to scrap you before um, they play football and um, you know you 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 have to match them with that too and out battle them there and earn the right to play you know. And do you, do you think you can like you haven't um, you haven't got the luck you deserve in the last couple of games? Um, like I wouldn't say that like you know but I suppose it would have been nice that you know some certain games when you, you do have a lot of possession or you know you think you're doing well you're. You're doing okay in patches here and there. You do like um, sometimes you get the bounce of a ball and it just falls to somebody like like um Kevin Teeley did and Atlon did. You know what I mean? So um, uh, we we haven't had that look, but look, um, I'm a firm believer that you know the the harder you work, the more you end up in them kind of situations. You know you you kind of force teams into making a mistake or or uh, you get you get the bounce of a ball. The the harder you work, you know what I mean? So um, look, we just keep grinding away and and hopefully one of the lads can put the ball in the back of the net and. And um, we can kick on from there, and uh, you know we won't be um, relying on luck or anything. We we'll, we we'll go out and just get it done. And finally, just uh, I was uh, asking Colin as well. Just uh, the soundings are coming from the FAI that there might be fans coming back maybe next month, uh, just like uh, on a trial basis. And I suppose obviously that would like you'd welcome that, I guess. a hundred percent. Um, it's it's definitely a different game of ball without the crowd. You know. Um. But you know we miss them hundred percent. You know we, we're professionals though we get on with it and uh, we don't even affect us as as best we can. But there's definitely uh, an uh, you know a much um added benefit there having you know the cross full or you know even whatever party full. It's um it does it does help you and like I always say it is cliche and all the rest of it. But the twelfth man it's it's massive. Like I I can't um you know through the years of playing with Cork City. You know, it could be you could be out on your feet there at eighty at eighty fifth minute, and all of a sudden the crowd gets going, and your, you know, hair stand up in the back of your neck, and you're like, out of nowhere, you have an extra five, you know, five ten ten minutes of a burst in you, like whereas without them, you uh, sometimes you don't have it. So I can't wait for them to be back, to be honest, and um, you know, get things back to normal, and uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, you were just talking about the 
the, the first division there. Like, is there a noticeable difference in the physicality between the Premier and the first divisions? Um, I wouldn't say if, uh, physicality. Like, um, maybe might be mindset more so. Uh, okay. To know you kind of have teams go out almost ready for a scrap before they're before they're anticipating a football game kind of a thing and then everybody knows I think it's almost a given in the first division you really have to win the battle so there's a lot of like just winning flick-ons and hook-ons and just getting a tackle in here there and just getting a lot of the second ball and it might look too pretty but it has a you know has a massive impact on going forward and getting the, getting like I said earning the right to play so um, I wouldn't say physicality you know but I would say there's a there's, there's a difference in mindset of, all right I would think from my experience and, and, and now just finally like is it the case that City are seen as a scalp for everyone else which just is an extra kind of obstacle for you to overcome yeah, look, Cork City is a massive club. You know what I mean. It's just um, it's look, it's a it's a pity how things unfolded and we are where we are. Um, but still, for me, the biggest club in the country, like and the best club in the country. So, uh, no doubt, everybody wants to. It doesn't matter what division we're in. Um, like even even pre season games, you know, going up to Rovers and stuff like that. You could still see how much Rovers wanted to beat us and how much it meant to them and stuff. You know, there there still is that. Like you know, they're still looking at it as um, you know, almost like you know, Cork City. There's there's a uh, there's massive weight comes with um uh playing for Cork City and uh, then again people really want they're they're out to almost out to get you in a way you know they really want to win the game you yeah. know so um there's always a bit about it and like you said people but look that's part and parcel of it and uh, it's sport and look we welcome it and um look you'd have it no other way you you want people to have that much desire because if not like you, you're doing something wrong if they if they don't have that that bit a bit about it do you know what I mean. Um, there was just something I asked Colin about. Um, in the build up to the fact that it's Shelburne were playing Friday night, um, you'd be very aware of the rivalry between the two clubs over the years. You played in Talca in twenty eleven in that famous game, you know. Um, it's part of your role this week to go around and educate the new lads and make the young lads aware that, that there's maybe a little bit more on this game than there is on any other league game. Um, yeah, look, I suppose, yeah, a lot of lads probably, you know, they wouldn't know the history and the rivalry, like, so, yeah. but, um, yeah, definitely, like, you, you know, you, I suppose you would be letting the lads know about, you know, past games and the bit of bite that there always is about it, like, and, you know, I remember that game up there at that time, and um, Tommy Dunn was the manager, and, you know, we went in at half time and the dressing room was locked, and he had to kick the door down, and, you know, there's just, there's a good history about it, like, and there's, there's, um, there's a bit of bite, like I said, and, uh, yeah, for the lads who wouldn't have seen it and known about it, I probably would have. Um, I would say to them, look, this, you know, just go around like you said and let them know, like this is um, there's there's pride here, like you know what I mean. There's there's a lot. This kind of it runs deep, you know. Yeah, and there's the fact that it's probably in, in terms of fans that fans would view this the big game of the year in this division. You know, if you ask supporters, you can only win three games all year. The majority would say, yeah, it was the three Shelburne games, the three we want to win. You know, does that put an added pressure on you guys or is it something you can just blank out and think no it's just another game of football we just want to go out and win it um, no, it, look, it is another game of football, and we do want to go out and win it. But at the end of the day, like you know, there there is, you know, as professionals, you take every game and you prepare from prepare from the way you should and professionally and all the rest of it. But at the end of the day, you can't you can't tell history like history is history. There is that there is that rivalry and that um I suppose look the two clubs respect each other, but. Um, you know, we know we're going out to battle with them on, on a Friday night. Like, you know, it's not going to be, there's going to be no airs or graces about it. Like, it's um, it's going to be a scrap and it's going to be, uh, you know, there'll be good football played at times and um, we know what it's about. And, uh, you know, like I said, we're we're more than capable and we're more than up for it. Like, so um, we're really looking forward to it. Hi, girls. Um, Hi, Michael. Because you talked about the need there to, uh, to score goals. And uh, so you mentioned there about how there's a tendency sometimes the first division to put players behind the ball. Do you reckon that's uh, contributing to the difficulty scoring goals or is it a confidence issue or is it a case of more practice required or what do you put it down to? Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't say more practice because you know we're doing it every like we are like the lads have us doing you know whatever crossing cross and finishing um, in training the boys are putting the ball in the back of the net you know so um, uh, I don't know it's just, it's just whatever way it fell it just it doesn't didn't seem to happen in the last few games. Like you know, I thought Jack Walsh on Friday deserved a goal. I thought he'd get one. He done. He went on a one or two runs. You know, beat one, two or three players. And I thought he's going to get a goal here. And um, look, it just wasn't to be. Like I said, they put a lot of men behind the ball, and that definitely contributes to it. But at the end of the day, um, it's just another question asked of us. Um, 
in a different way and we just need to do more to put the ball in the back of the net and we are capable of it you know um, we see it all the time like you know even go back to Waterford pre-season you know it's there it's just a case of um, making it happen and sometimes uh, you know if it's not happening you need you just you might need to try something different um, on the pitch we might need to you know just make a different run that you might make or whatever and um, basically just answer the question on the field and um, hopefully something works and um, we put the ball in the back of the net eventually and we can we can kick on like Yes, as you rightly said, there definitely has been a positives. It's just one of the few missing pieces of the jigsaw. And of course, you mentioned there that there is that rivalry with uh, Shelburne down through the years. As well as everything else, that's no doubt added motivation for yourselves. Yeah, 100%. Um, like I was telling Declan there, um, everything that happened in the history, it, it does fuel you and gives you that, um, that extra bit of desire, I suppose, to go out and, um, you know, you're representing Cork City Football Club and we know how big that is like you know it's it's massive and uh, no doubt the lads at Shells think the same about their club so um, we want to go out and uh, do do this crest on the front of the shirt justice like you know what I mean um, and that's the way it has to be and there's no two ways about it like 